right now there's a line of people camped outside of Redford Township Hall. They've been there for 10 days and counting. Yeah, and we've seen people camped out like this before for like big sales on Black Friday, but it's not a big screen TV that they're hoping to snag this time. It's a marijuana license. Yeah, this morning we're hearing from the Redford Township clerk surprised to see this big turnout and a Redford resident about marijuana dispensaries now coming to her neighborhood. Seven so News Detroit reporter Brittany Chulis is joining us live this morning right outside the town hall there. And Brittany, what are you seeing here at this time of the morning? I see people behind you. Are those chairs still? Alicia, I'm going to be a little quiet because it is five in the morning and a lot of these people behind me are sleeping. Now it's about a dozen people deep back here, but, and I also was going to get a little closer for you guys, but like I said, a lot of them are sleeping and I know I would be not too happy if a news crew zoomed in on me during my REM cycle. So we're going to stay a little further back, but you can see from even back here that these people are meant to stay here for a little while. Just look at their setups. We have blankets, chairs. There's even a little, what looks like a covered wagon type shelter where the gentleman in the White is walking by and also a lot of these people here aren't here for themselves. A lot of them are proxies for cannabis companies and they also plan to be out here until October 3rd. I did the math. That's about 23 days total. More than three weeks. These people are planning to just set up camp out here and there are also some rules to being out here and a limit to how many marijuana licenses are being given out. Now this all started September 10th when the Redford Township announced it's issuing marijuana licenses for the first time. The township doesn't have a number limit on how many licenses it's handing out, but parameters on where these eventual dispensaries will go will naturally cap the amount of licenses they give out. The dispensaries cannot be within a thousand feet of a school or a public park. They also can't be within 2,500 feet of another dispensary. Resident Karen Kay lives in Redford Township, near where one of these dispensaries could end up, and thinks it's an overall net positive. We don't really want crime, but if people need to help it, if they need it to get well, there must be a lot of money in it because to do that, that's a, that's a great sacrifice. And I was surprised to, to see it. I was anticipating seeing uh, them out here in uh, mid-October. And he probably isn't too surprised when he hears how lucrative this marijuana industry can be. In August here in Michigan, weed sales hit a record $295 million. Now let's get to the rules of what it takes to sit in this endurance competition for these licenses and what I'm sure we've all had in the back of our heads. Do these people really have to stay in this line 24 seven for the next 23 days? Well, guys, they actually really, really do. If any of these people get out of line without a replacement, even to just go to the bathroom, they will lose this spot. Now we also asked something that I'm sure you guys have all been wondering right now, like I said, five in the morning, where are these people going to the bathroom? They had a plan, but there's also a slight issue with that plan. If you can look right here, the police department is right next to where the city hall is. That department's supposed to be unlocked for these people to use the bathroom, but I did talk to someone who got up and says that door is locked and they're now just walking around trying to figure out where they can go because they have a long time before these buildings open up here. It's only five in the morning. It's going to open probably around nine o'clock, so they got to figure something out, I'm sure. Hopefully police department will be here a little earlier than that, but I don't know if I could hack it guys. What do you think? Could you stay out here Ooh, for 23 days? Um, I don't know if I could. I would need a porta potty at least. So uh, I'm sure you're going to be covering what happens next, but man, they are in it to win it for sure. Uh, committed. Thank you for that live report. We appreciate it, Brittany.